I'm Steve for This Up With Cars, and today is my 1,000 mile update on my Zero SR all electric motorcycle. Today I'm going to tell you about my experience over the last 1,000 miles with all the things that I still really like about the bike, things that I don't like about the bike, and issues that could be resolved from Zero should they choose. First off, since I bought this bike in about mid-May, I've ridden it almost every single day. This is a vehicle that I use to commute with every single day. I've been charging it up to about 70% to save the battery, although I could probably raise that up and still be in a very safe range. I typically charge it every one to two days, and it takes about four hours to recharge it after my typical commute. And that's on a 110 volt charger. It takes about two hours here at the shop on my 220 volt charger. I haven't cleaned or washed the bike off yet, and I do ride this on gravel. It seems to ride just fine on gravel as long as it hasn't been freshly graded. If the rocks are thickly covering the road, it gets a little hairy and I'd rather not be on that road. But most typical gravel roads, which my house is surrounded by them, the bike is just fine on them. The very first problem that I ever had with the bike was a charging issue. And that's because I was playing with things while it was plugged into the charger. I've heard that a lot of people have had charging problems and I have not had any problems since that day because I make sure to have the ignition off, the kickstand down and the kill switch set to the off position before plugging in the charger each time. The next noticeable thing that happened is that the screen scratches very easily. Just even wiping dust that gets on the screen from typical riding can scratch the screen. So I wish the screen had some kind of protector or was built from some material that was less easy to scratch. One of the absolute best things about this bike is the traction control. You can come to a complete stop and open the throttle all the way. And you won't even know that the traction control is working. It is very, very seamless. I usually don't catch the traction control light flashing on the screen. And the only indication to me that it's actually working is a couple little chirps from the tires. It's that seamless. You do not feel the traction control kicking on at all. The other thing that I really love about this bike is still the storage area where the fuel tank used to be. You can get an extended battery that fits in this area, but I really like having that storage there. To me, that makes this bike so usable and great as a commuter bike. The longest trip that I've taken with the bike so far was exactly 100 miles. This was a mixed use ride, but it was mostly highway miles. When I got ready to leave on the trip, it only said that I had 98 miles due to the riding style of how I typically ride. However, I was able to cover the 100 miles and it still said that I had 10 miles left of range. I charged it up overnight and in the morning due to the change in driving style over that 100 miles, it said that I had a 120 mile range at full charge. And that's one of the things that has changed over the last 800 miles. In my first video, I showed you the custom mode that I use the most, and it didn't have a whole lot of neutral braking. The mode that I use all the time now, I've called Eco Max. It has the maximum amount of neutral braking, regenerative braking, the least amount of power and torque, it wasn't until I had spent a week with the Ford F-150 Lightning that I had changed my decision on how I wanted my modes configured. It was actually something that my dad said when I was showing him the Ford F-150 Lightning. I was showing him the differences that one pedal mode makes compared to having it off. And he made the comment to me, why would you ever have one pedal mode off? And you know what? He has a good point. After spending so much time with electric vehicles now, you have to kind of reconfigure the way that you think about going somewhere. Even in Google Maps now, they're starting to give directions that are more efficient for electric cars and less efficient, say, if you're pulling a trailer and you want to stay on one single road for as long as you can. And I've had to go into the settings in Google Maps and try to configure it back to the way that it used to work. But if I was driving or riding an EV, It'd be great because it would extend my range and give me a route that makes a lot of sense for an electric vehicle. So now the mode that I use the most for commuting has the maximum amount of neutral and regenerative braking. And having all of that neutral regenerative braking causes another issue. 
The cruise control system is great if you're in sport mode, but the minute you deactivate the cruise control under eco mode or another mode with a lot of neutral braking, the bike just starts to decelerate very quickly the minute cruise control is turned off. It's very uncomfortable to use it that way. If you don't want that to happen, you have to bring your throttle up so that you're going faster than what you had the cruise control set to, and then click it off. One thing that I wish they would do is give you the ability to change the set speed that your cruise control is at. And I think zero, if you're listening, you could do that with the mode button. When cruise control is active, why not let us bump the mode button up or down to change the speed that the cruise control is set to? I think this is one way to alleviate some of the problems with the cruise control and high neutral braking. Because currently, Zero only gives you the option of turning the cruise control on or off, and that's it. Whatever speed you're set to is the speed you've got until you turn it off. Now let's talk about firmware updates. I know a lot of people out there have been having problems with them. And the first two times that I tried to do a firmware update, it failed. I was able to do it on the third try, and here's some tips for you. The firmware update that I applied took about 30 minutes to complete. I made sure to set my phone so that it would not turn off during the update, and I also plugged it into the power on the USB port from there, I just left it alone, and luckily, it applied the firmware update. And this brings me to possibly the biggest disappointment that I've had so far with this bike. The dealer that I bought the bike from had a lot of Zero models on the showroom, but it's obvious that they were not very versed in the Zero motorcycles. The salesman that sold me the bike was under the impression that the Cypher store was already out. The Cypher store lets you unlock a bunch of new features and capabilities from the Zero motorcycles that have been produced in the last two years. On the 2022 Zero SR that I have here, that will let me unlock 10% faster charging, 20% greater range, in-dash navigation, parking mode, and a lot more performance. It brings the maximum speed to 124 miles per hour, gives you 113 horsepower and 140 foot-pounds of torque. But not only was the Cypher store not out yet, but everyone was hoping for a June release. A few weeks ago, I got an email from Zero, and they now have postponed the release of the Cypher store until September. So it looks like for this year, I won't have any of those features during my riding season, but it will give me a whole new experience riding this bike for next season. I really enjoy that the bike is always ready. I know that it's always going to work. I never have to go to fuel stations and I have never stopped to recharge the bike anywhere except for when I get home at night. That's one of the things that you need to think about when you're looking at electric vehicles. Sure, they have a small range, but you're never stopping to recharge them up. Usually if you're charging the vehicle every night, that is more than adequate for what you're doing on a typical day. Next time I'll be back with either a lot more miles on the bike or the Cypher store has been released. So if you want to see more videos like this, comment below and click subscribe.